So our first excerpt today is from We've Got Rights. It's written by the students at Westchester Enriched Sciences Magnets. Great work, guys. It's really, really awesome stuff. The source material, of course, was the Bill of Rights and today's headlines. You're seeing an excerpt right now from the Fifth Amendment, Protest Against Self-Incrimination. A brother and sister and his little sister are guilty of shopping while black. She, pulled, she has pulled out her wallet to pay. Just at that moment, two cops roust them. They rough them up pretty badly. They find nothing, of course, to detain them. Then they head home. They go home. Their mother has seen this before, and she immediately knows what has happened. She sings this song, song Things Will Change. These racist assumptions are like a flu What happened to you is nothing new Shopping while black Left you open to attack By men whose job is to protect and serve Something my two kids did not deserve we have to set things straight, not just for both my kids' sake. I thought I left my fighting days behind, but it's time once again to stand. Together we can change things, things will change. Together we can change things, things will change from the way that things have been. All right, you Simpsonology kids, I'll tell you, you've... Uh... Uh, you, you've kept us laughing uh, all day already. So what you're going to see right now is an excerpt from Simpsonology written by the students from West Adams Preparatory High School. Social justice was also on their minds, and in this case, access to medical care. When Bart finds out that Gramps has cancer, he embarks on a mission to find a cure. He sings, I'll save you. Can't believe what I learned today They can't take my grandpa away I'm just trying to find a way I'm trying to bring your cure back home But I can't do this on my own And that's why I'm counting on you To stay strong for him while I'm away Help him live to fight one more day Just fight a little longer, Grandpa I'll save you in the end I will explore the whole world for you I won't stop till I save you I'll save you I'll save you Just hold on and I'll save you I'll save you I'll save you Just hold on and I'll save you I do want you to know we have been really good doing our social distancing and trust me, even though you see us right now without masks, uh, we have been protocol, protocol, protocol. I know I'm just uh, uh, doing, doing my best as the director right now. I'm going to ask general questions of each of the actors. Um, let's see. You have a microphone. Why don't you start? Yes. Tell us how long have you been acting? What made you want to be an actor? Oh, how long have I been? I, since, since around middle school. Um, you know what? I, I'm kind of ashamed of it now, but I, I listened to the Phantom of the Opera soundtrack a lot in like seventh grade. I'm not, you know what? I'm not ashamed. That's right. <laughs> Never be ashamed of the music that you like and listen to. That's, my, that's, that's something that I've learned. Um, but yeah, I love that show. And then I, it just kind of snowballed from there. I started taking classes and that's. Did you go to university to study acting? Yes, I studied uh, musical theater at UCLA. Great school. Uh, Mina Bloom, who is... Um, working. Working. <laughs> rehearsing right now. We, we went to school together. She's a year ahead of me, so it's a, it was a great program. Okay. 
Crystal? Uh, professionally, for about the last like 12 years or so. Um, and it chose me. That's what I say to people all the time. I was actually trying to run from this career. <laughs> and it chose me, and I love it. I can't imagine doing anything else. And uh, I did not go to school for musical theater or theater in general. I've been educated since then. Um, <laughs> you know, you have to take classes if you want to do stuff. Um, <laughs> but I actually, my degree is biology pre-med. I was going to be a doctor. That's was what I thought. <laughs> yeah, but you're helping people now. Yes, different kind of anyway, help. different kind of help. Eric. It's, it's funny we have a lot to talk about. Because similarly, I was trying to run away from this for as long as I could, probably until I think I finally decided to go into acting seven days before the uh, admissions deadline for all the schools, and I was going to pre med. I got an early admission, and I was I was gonna go. But um, now, I, yeah, I've been acting unprofessionally since middle school just as an extracurricular and then I took the leap in college and then I have my BFA from the University of Michigan. I have been role playing as an only kid my whole life um, <laughs> so it really did thrust me into the land of make-believe and I've been acting for two decades at least but um, I went to school I went to the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley and have been living in LA doing a whole plethora of different type of performing so look into it there's so much out there. Thank you. Okay I'm going to ask uh, some of the questions that the students provided. Um, what was the hardest part of doing these shows that you did today? Uh, the hardest part for me, I think, was not having a, a longer rehearsal period. Um, <laughs> As performers and artists, I know we all like to really dig deep with understanding of lyrics and script, and we also like to build relationships by getting to know one another. And as artists and as creative people, that happens really fast anyways, but we've all just met today. <laughs> so that was the hardest part for me, um, but the script and the music is great, so that was actually the easiest part. How did y'all feel when you found out that you were not doing real musical theater, but musical theater written by high school students. Okay, so I, just, <laughs> musical, I want y'all to answer. This, okay. this is a non-answer, but I, I think real musical theater can be musical theater written by high school students. Yeah. That was basically what I was going to say. I was like, it's a story, and the plot line is driven for it by musical, I mean, uh, by music, so it's a musical. Like, don't cut yourself short just because everyone doesn't know your name. You're, someday they will, you know? So, oh, you got one. Yeah. This is real musical theater. Yeah. Like, we, we, we came here, we were like, okay, we have a music rehearsal, and we have to memorize, and we have to make sure that it's all working. Yeah, this is, this is real. And all I would like to add is that we're all real professionals. So, ah, there you, go. you know, we're all real acting right now. So, this is a real musical theater piece. How about a uh, sense of humor? I'm just going to leave that <laughs> lie out there and see what y'all say about that. Y'all are funny. Yes. I would like to do a, a momentary shout out to the two teachers who invited the Foundation for New American Musicals into their classrooms, Ms. Pro at Westchester and Ms. Pettis at West Adams. We've worked with Ms. Pettis, I think this is the fourth time, and every time it's been an adventure. Thank you. And... I know that when I first met Ms. Pro and we were talking about what we were going to do, especially because we were going to be doing it over Zoom, um, we tried to come up with something that would match what she was doing in her government class and that might be of interest to the students. And even though on occasion it was difficult to get the words out of the students and the music, um, we managed. And it was a lot of fun for Ms. Bloom and myself. You should keep writing these. You should keep going. <laughs> 